Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War 3 with this Ottoman campaign. Last time around, we defeated a attack on Athens. We were able to dispel the British, and since then I've done quite a few turns because I'm trying to make some kind of headway somewhere. But all the time I just take one step forward and then the enemy makes me take at least one back. So I'm not getting anywhere fast. We defeated another uh, invasion as well on Athens. And I attacked and I took Vienna and then uh, France... Uh, offered peace, which lasted one turn. I'm not entirely sure what happened here, because the Prussians, uh, I recall, held this. But now the French hold it. However, they're not at war with each other. So maybe it's a one-turn war or something. Uh, or maybe there was a rebellion. Anyway, it's France has it now. So I thought I was going to be safe from Prussian incursion. But... My Hungarian protectorate kind of backstabbed me because, well, I guess they didn't want the Prussian army coming down on them again from the north. So instead this time it seems like they've given uh, access to the Prussians to march through their lands. So we've got a Prussian army right within distance of Belgrade. Which is not nice, because my economy is still kind of crap, so we have one turn left of gold in the treasury. And losing that is definitely not going to help. What I've done though, is I've moved the army that was going to march up through Innsbruck and um, up to Innsbruck in Tyrol. They failed their attack because Napoleon turned up, um, so they fought a battle and then they had to fall back. And with the um, French retaking Vienna for the second time, um, that meant the road was open to Zagreb, Croatia. So Croatia is at risk of falling. So we've got a French army here, ready to attack Croatia, which is not great. But I think it's probably... Uh, not at all, actually. This one I make 780 out of. This one I make 800. It's not a big difference. Uh, it might be easier to move back and smite the Prussians and then move forward to try and save Croatia. Um, and so with the army that was here, move that back. That means that I moved my elite army up here. And they've got an extra cavalry unit and an extra um, Janissary unit. And now they're going to try their attempt at attacking Innsbruck. Now they got a full stack in the town. And then they got more or less a full stack behind it. Hopefully there isn't much more. It will be one hell of a battle here in the hills in the pass there. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to push through and... Uh, Liberate that, which will create such a big block for f the French. Um, so hopefully we'll uh, keep them out of most of this. They can't recruit any troops here. So we could possibly swell out here. But that's not the point. The point was more um, to hold them back from um, marching more troops there. So I can actually take Rome, which was my idea. Um... Then also, the army that I built here, and the army that we'd built here, um, was actually sent by ship up through here, and they have now landed. So they'll make their way, or try to make their way. Oh, they <laughs> have landed a full stack there, a full stack there, and a full stack there. We'll march onto this hill. Oh, and they got some troops here as well. So there's tons of troops in that area. Um, well, she keep the ship close by in case I want to retreat back over. So if this isn't bad with three Spanish forces, loads of French forces here. The Russians have woken up. And if we go over to Russia, 
this is what's happened over there. So we got five Russian full stacks that has marched across. Now they did attack me at the bridge, but what they did was they were sending one true one full stack through there. Then the most of them actually came through the bridge and came down through here. So most of them were going to flank me at the bridge battle. So I decided to retreat back. It was also the fact that this this campaign is dragging down, as what I've said uh, before, it's dragging down into such a grind. You know, they grinded my army. I The reason I lost that army in Naples was because they just kept on coming and they grinded it down into dust. Um, and, you know, that just playing battle after battle after battle after battle and not really getting anywhere is really making me really sick and tired of the campaign. Uh, anyways, we retreated back from the bridge and we're gonna try and defend here. Also, I'm hoping that all Russian forces will converge. Oh, I'm, t I'm <laughs> not just tired at the campaign, it seems. Um, so, um, hopefully they'll all combine here and we'll have a giant battle. Maybe I lose, maybe I win, doesn't matter as much. Um, but we'll get a giant battle against five, I don't know, maybe this and that, this one, that, six full stacks. Uh, I was hoping to get my trade back so that I wouldn't go 4,000 minus each turn. The thing is, when they're blocking the port like this, that means that the, the ships I was recruiting aren't able to be launched. So I'm going to have to recruit ships from here, and then send them around. Which isn't great, because we've got massive British fleet. Now a lot of them are out of cannon, which is kind of odd. And some of them are really low on... Here we got the Santa Ana. Which is, I believe, the biggest ship in the game. A Spanish ship. Uh, or at least the one with the most guns. 122 guns. Um, no, it's not the Santana, which, yeah, it, I think it is. But it's got 65 crew, and not a single cannon is banned. So it could be that a large part of, you know, the British ships are just kind of like a paper tiger. Which would be interesting. Would be really wonderful to capture one of these big ships. Um, not that it would help me that much because the upkeep would probably kill me. Um, so I'm not entirely sure. We need to somehow get rid of that one. Which, I mean, none of these have any cannon. This one has 12. And then these guys have 3 each. It's not going to go too well against this one. So I'm going to have to recruit ships down here. Um, I'm contemplating removing these. Probably gain some money back. Um, we'll see. So there's no real battle lined up as per se. But we know that there's going to be battles. Because we will battle there. Battle here. And battle here. All of which are... Well, in terms of difficulty, I'd say this one I have a pretty good chance of winning. This one is a little bit harder, but I think I've got a pretty good chance. Um, it's a pretty strong army, I must say. This one is the hardest one. Because I've got the weakest army. And the most enemies. But that would be... a massive battle, which would be really cool, but I don't think I'd... Given that France is the first one to do its turn, we're most likely gonna do a battle here today. And then I think Russia comes before Spain, because Spain is one of the last ones. So we'll do the easiest, within quotation marks, first, and then we'll do the hardest, and then the middle one. Um... Yeah. And then, I mean, we've got 
French full stacks coming down here. And then the bloody Prussians coming here. So, I mean, nothing's really going my way. And it looks like it's not really going to be... Um, it's we're probably not going to be able to take Rome. And this campaign will crash and burn. Now, the, the thing was, I'd probably end it sooner, but... I was w hoping that I would be able to do a pretty neat switch over to the new version of the World War One mod, but it has yet to be released. Um, with all of this said, we're going to end turn, and we're going to see, you know, what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Um, I'm actually... It won't save us a lot of money, but it, save, it pro might save us a little bit of money if I delete these. Um, yeah, decent amount. Might want to delete something more somewhere, but yeah. Let's go ahead and enter and see where exactly our enemies decide to attack us. As per usual, my predictions kind of fly out the window. Um, neither the French nor the Russians attacked me. The, f the uh, Russians retreated away. And I don't know, I missed kind of what the French did. The Spanish, however, is going to defend their um, holdings in Naples. But they're not going to send all the forces against me. They're just going to send two full stacks. Uh, the third one was actually retreating back towards the ships. We can kind of see him down in here in the left corner. Um, but I have 4,000 men and the enemy has about five to 6,000 men. They have some pretty good troops. Uh, those guard guys. There's a lot of regiments. Um... I am pretty confident, though, that my army will hold out. Um, it's a f it's a new full stack. We haven't lost any troops and so on. Um, the enemy doesn't have that much cavalry, so we should be able to defend the cannon position. So I am pretty confident of victory. As we're going to be sandwiched by the Spanish armies, one coming from the front and one coming from the back, we need to deploy some troops to the back. So I've deployed my Bedouin troops behind these walls. Um, not entirely sure if they will be able to stop anything, but they'll hold them back for a little bit, uh, I hope. Uh, we've got the um, new model army, as I s say, uh, in the middle here as kind of reserve and also the fact that they cannot deploy defenses, so I put the other troops up front. Um, we've got a few units, two units that can place, um, three units actually that can place spikes, which have been placed like this. So I'm hoping to place two out here, or one out here, one out here, and then this one I'll place somewhere in the back. And let's make sure that everyone's on uh, stand your ground. And with that, let's start. So we're going to start by marching this one out here, putting stakes there. This one's going to march out here, place stakes there, and that will hopefully defend that. And then you will move back here, and I'm not entirely sure where exactly the enemy are coming from. So I'm just going to place it kind of arbitrary somewhere back here, and then hope that it will kind of give us an area where we can defend or fall back through. Ah, look at that. Um, the enemy reinforcements coming from over there. So I think at a slight angle like that is probably going to be good. And with the fact that the enemy is coming from over there, I'm going to put all my cavalry over there. Now there's lots of Spanish troops already coming at us. Um... I don't think we're going to put a troop there, actually. I'm going to put one here, though. Then these two will pull back, so we can put one there and one there. And then you will be put over here. 
given that these guys are coming in pretty rapidly, I think we're going to deploy these guys over here as well. Support over there. Support over there. And then you... Oh yeah, you were supposed to paste the spikes, so you place them there. So we're, we're covering the front now with spikes, which is good. So this guy has placed its spikes. And he can pull behind the wall. This guy has played his spikes, so he can pull down behind the wall. Spanish lances charging in, in the flank. I'm sending my cavalry, which uh, we took a look at a long time, uh, for a very long time, just kind of looking at uh, partly the price of the cavalry, but also the stats. Um, so I say that for the money and also for the stats, those are the two best units. Let's see if I can draw some better lines here. Okay, you'll not turn your guns around to fire at this angle, you morons. We'll actually move out of this defensive position. This unit lost surprisingly high amount of troops. And instead we're gonna do something like that. You're gonna play spikes. You're gonna be you're gonna be reserve actually exactly where you are. We have killed their general, you will switch to canister. And we've got the Spanish lancers riding straight onto the spikes. Looks like there's lots of Spanish troops that are gonna come th straight through there. So you're gonna keep firing at explosive. You're gonna have however switch to canister. Spikes are being deployed, the troops drawn out in their line. If you can go ahead and place those spikes. We haven't lost that many horsemen. And looks like we're gonna win that fight as well pretty easily. What way where did that unit go? Oh it retreat. Damn, they lost a hundred men. Was it because... Um, it's probably because those bloody cannons shot the unit. And I completely missed it. Right, you'll be some kind of reserve square around the general here in the center. We're gonna put you... Behind the cannons to... Uh, support that and now we've got lots of Spanish troops marching at us someone said in one of the last episodes that this was actually a Swiss regiment in the Spanish service and it's one of the best if not the best regiment the Spanish have Which is great that they're marching straight into my canister. Now, we've got Voluntarios coming straight at their howitzer. Would be nice if we actually fired the second gun as well, but we didn't. These guys are just done with their stuff, so they can move there. And we should be able to get those out of there. General move into the square. We need. Let's see. Oh, my cavalry rode all the way over there. That's the cannon that's retreating. Okay, I need, actually need the general pretty close here. Because the Spanish are overwhelming. Defense is over here. And I need to send some extra troops to deal with this onslaught. Ah, damn it! They're breaking through. Cannon will pull back. Back on the guns. We'll drop the defense there and line up like that. 
put the general somewhere over there. Oh, you will not fire as of yet. Cavalry, charge into the rear. The general is needed to support the troops over here. The Spanish troops overextended themselves. And with my cavalry coming in in the nick of time, now they place spikes out there, so that's important to remember. Shooting troop is back in action. Both cavalry units. Crushing the enemy forces. General is supporting. It's a mass of Spanish troops and they're pulling back. And I need my cavalry to actually respond to what I'm saying and charge them down. We'll pull back kind of behind the wall for these troops. And then these guys need to get up on the walls. I want the cavalry just to continue through all of that. Let's reman the walls. Let's see. Where is that howitzer group? There. Back on the gun. Support the center. Cavalry's gone completely through there. So now I want them to get the Spanish artillery. And with that, I must say, rather rapidly, we have destroyed the first Spanish army. They were able to overwhelm our defenses, but at a heavy cost. And with the fact that they've done it so many times, I was able to quite quickly adapt to the situation, and we crushed them. Spanish cavalry being cut down by our men, low morale, probably lost the general already somewhere, and it looks like the uh, first Spanish assault, why do you stop in front of the guns? I ordered you to actually get the guns, but instead you're going to stand there and wait for canister to come and kill you, aren't you? Right. They're actually taking quite a bit to kill these guys. Now, the second Spanish army is coming from that way. The two cannons that we can move, we shall move. And then the cavalry will be moved over there. And now we relocate as many troops as we can over to this side. Also make sure that all of them are set to fire at will. We'll keep some here because I didn't deal with that unit out there. So we've got two cannons here, firing canister, and we've got one... Um, ...of the modern army units, we're gonna put next to that. And then we have this one, of course. It's gonna be in place. No, not you. God damn it. The other one. Now we are taking cannon fire. 
And we got Spanish troops moving in. They've got a 12 pound right here. Looking at how they deployed and the fact that they deployed spike. That's our spikes. But they had some spikes out there. I think we're going to move the cavalry, which are very tired at this point. We're going to move them over to this side of the field. And then we're going to flank the enemy from there, that side. Okay, I'm going to tell you to run just to get out of the way of the cannon so that one gets... Uh, is able to release canister on that guy over there. We're going to tell this one to start firing canister that way. We're going to tell this one fire that way. See if they want to fire. And that was actually enough to send them away. And I don't think they're going to come back. So that's Nice. Hmm. This is not really a super good place for m my cannons to be deployed, but I guess up by the wall there. And then the howitzer is back here. Can de be deployed somewhere out there. So we'll see about getting him somewhere there. That guerrilla unit needs to be dealt with. And since he's on a, his own, I'll deploy the troops like that to encircle him. It will tell the cavalry to just march at this point. What do we have? Tri Triadors. I think they're just holding because um, because they're out of uh, well they've got no they not out of they've got more artillery than I do so that's why they're holding back as I want to place my artillery up front somewhere well, I'm gonna actually move my troops up and then we can retreat back to uh, the artillery positions that we will set. Now I kind of wish I had a cavalry unit here because we could easily uh, run down the guerrilla unit over there. Okay, so we got two regiments out there. We got this little small one over here. We got this one. We are winning these two fights here. We've got the mass. Actually, we got more than two there. Uh, actually, slightly pull back these troops. Pull, pull them back to the wall. We'll set around the wall there. And I think we set these cannons right there, and these will start marching over there. You will continue going towards the flank. So behind this wall we should have pretty good cover. The enemy is moving in rapidly. So we're going to retreat most troops kind of in this area. This one. Uh, fix the gap there. There's lots of Spanish troops. The general, I think, is actually needed out here. And then I think we need the cavalry quickly out here. What are you doing? They're all going, all going out to save Private Mohammed out there. 
I'm gonna need canister really quick because there's loads. Oh God, run, you bastard! Right, the cavalry is needed. Really, why are you marching out of the defenses? I mean, I guess they, th I guess they think God is on our side, um, which is great, but. Um, I I don't think we can count on it. Cavalry charge. Get some uh, canister into that. And hopefully they'll route the snag onto something else instead of charging the cannons. But no. Um, pull back then. The cavalry will mop up from the side. Followed by infantry. Now the general is needed in the center because they're actually they're about to break us over there. Those two units uh, will actually pull back something like that. Our men are running for okay, over here we. Uh, You're actually needed over here, so why don't you bloody well move? Turn the cannons around. Quickly. Come on. Get firing. I think we might. Ha ha ha! If we had been able to fire more cannons there, we'd definitely have broken them. The Spanish troops had broken our lines in two. However, I do believe the bastards have overextended themselves. Um. Oh, my cavalry is spent. Hold on. God damn you. My cavalry back a little bit, at least morale wise. Oh, they're about to attack this side. Retreat. Our men are running. Get that cavalry going. Oh, God damn it, why did you retreat over here? Why aren't you firing? Is also a question. able to save the situation a little bit up there. My cavalry is now... God damn it, I shouldn't have charged there. Cavalry was completely spent. You know what? I'm gonna charge in the RT crew. Maybe that's enough to send the Royal Regiment home. Oh, and if the cavalry could actually quickly move away from the uh, very disastrous situation that is uh, developing, that would be nice. Bedouins pull back. And you guys will pull back. And then we've got canister ready to set up. Okay, the cannon crew and everything over there was fell apart and the general is about to get overrun okay the um, enemy kind of pulled back the problem here is of course that we're not actually fighting on home turf 
as we often usually are. So there, we're not going to get any replenishment after the battle, which is bad. Very, very bad. So the Spanish really split us in two. We've got a weaker side on this side. We've got a little bit of a stronger side over here. Where we actually do have canister, and I'm hoping that will be enough to send these guys away. I do have canister here as well. We're gonna pull back, but not. Okay. I was hoping you didn't fall that far back. It looks like the canister over here is working and the Bedouins are keeping the rest of them at bay. Grenadiers of the Canary Islands holding pretty strong over there. They're about to. Uh, we need to stop them over there. You need to fire your canister over there. And then these need to m make it out of there. Where the? Why are you all the way over here? Just run away then. Our men are running. For the Oh, the Grenadiers of the Canaries were actually firing for the cannon, sending that one away. See if we can get maybe one shot of canister or something away before the... Uh, okay, the cavalry is too tired and not going to make it. We'll rely on the canister to deal with them. That's not your cannons. Your cannons are all the way over there. Right, we broke that, and then you can continue firing that way. We've got... See if you can actually get back to your cannon position. Got the general and a few regiments. Oh, the grenadiers of the canaries will push back. Now we've got three artillery positions out there. Bedouins will deploy as following there. These guys back on the wall. To we'll concentrate them actually a bit more like that. Hold off the uh, grenadiers of the canaries. Most troops there are defeated. Means that we need to turn around and definitely turn around the canister. You'll get back on your guns out there. Um, Bedouins move there. Cavalry will move around. You'll get back on your cannons. And we're slowly breaking them over here. Now, um, one of the guerrilla regiments are back. Which isn't great. You have run away all over the place. Let's see. Let's see if you can join in with the rest of the uh, regiments. You can get on your guns, then you can fire a canister on that one. Rally. Turn the canister over there. The problem is they've got yet and after we're done with this, they've got yet another full stack and we don't have... Um, We're not going to be able to um, replenish this army, are we? Unless I'm able to next turn... I would be able to march and take the capital, wouldn't I? But the problem is, of course... Uh, boom. We are already low on everything. Okay, if you can make it over here, that would be nice. 
Taking stock of the situation, we're gonna advance the Bedouins and these troops to attack and take out the guns. Um, if you switch a round shot, you should probably be able to take that unit out before it gets here. I should be able to once the end turn comes around. I didn't think I was gonna lose this many men. But we stopped. I mean, the first charge we stopped here. They attacked probably at where we had a worst, worst kind of position actually. And they stayed away from the line which I draw. I guess I overdrew drew it by drawing it all the way over here. The thing about charging them in, especially when they've got such low morale, is probably not that good. Oh, they're firing overhead, so... Did you kill anyone with that volley? And you killed like three! I thought the Bedouins were good at shooting. Didn't they have... Don't they have good uh, accuracy? If these guys would turn to fire canister, we would be so dead. Okay, you're not too happy, but these three will work. Coming in from a flank. Okay, the Spanish unit. And you have arrived at the wall. You break that one. That unit was sent away. I think you'll continue towards that one. And then the Bedouins can move up towards the walls and shoot down these. And that one was now sent away. Problem is if the British also got a full stack. Oh, now they're starting to fire canister. At us. That unit started firing. Which broke one of the regiments. Two of the regiments. Our men are running for which isn't great. Cavalry is close. Tired. Ready to <laughs> break. Oh, everyone's breaking. The Bedouins made it, but that's about it. Okay, so... It's down to these units to make their advance then. With the general, you will switch the round shot, fire that Our towards the enemy. Everyone ran over here, trying to take down their batteries. You will reach, however. And we will kind of be able to come at the enemy from the back. Oh, both the units broke. Cavalry and... Oh, they're shooting canister at us. That's not going to work. Run. Far, far back into the forest. Everyone will target the enemy battery. These four units. Right. This was a tougher battle than I thought. What's that? Bedouins are back. It was something over there. I guess that was uh, the artillery regiment that came back. I'll stop you in your tracks, so you don't have to think about attacking us. Switch to round shot. 
see if the Bedouin's gonna kind of approach. And then we're gonna have to split this attack because we don't want everyone marching into the the canister. And then the general in between. And then the Bedouins from the side. And I think that will go pretty okay. So we'll advance from all sides with whatever we have left against the last piece, the 12 pounder cannon, which is now focusing in on the Bedouins. Got a small artillery crew over there. I'm wondering if they're actually going to reman the cannons now they're switching. Could they be firing for my general? They might be fire they're firing towards this regiment right here. Let's see if we can get the Bedouins closer. We'll run. The last portion of the way. We want to stop them from firing. I think they're yeah they've switched definitely switched to canister now since they're not actually firing the gun. The Bedouins are closing in. As soon as they actually get into melee, okay, cannons hold fire. General will join and will use his last inspiration to inspire them. Now the Be Bedouins were routed even with the, inspire in the inspiring ability of the general. However, it's all ogre for the Spanish as close range volleys from the new model army was enough to send them packing. Now let's hope that the road to Naples is open, otherwise I'm gonna have to retreat across the sea once more. Once more, once more. Well, last time we didn't actually retreat, we were destroyed, so... F but you know what I mean. Here's the statistics of the battle. I lost 2,500 men, leaving 1,500 men remaining. The Spanish deployed, or they lost about almost 5,000 men out of their 6,500, leaving... They still outnumber me by 400 men. That's not counting the full stack as well. Uh, all units survived, but as we can see, there's very few that has more than 100 men. And um, that's certainly not great. Highest killers goes to the cavalry, and they also gained one experience each, and some cannons as well. Uh, right, let's go ahead and see what happens as uh, the Spanish turn runs out. Our path has been blocked by for two armies, trains gained, so it's kind of interesting how I somehow managed to avoid all those battles with the enemy uh, at being on all sides more or less. So what the Spanish has done is they've unloaded yet another full stack. So I barely survived against these two. Now I could have moved... I can't even move to the town. We've got a... Um, a battle marker though. Unfortunately, our attack has failed. 
and we will have to retreat. Um, I thought that was going to cut more out of the budget. Um, the Prussians are just holding there. But I can't leave them there because they're uh, too close to, uh, to important stuff. So we're going to have to move out there and kill them. Uh, the fact that the Russians didn't attack here is a bloody miracle. I don't know what happened there, really. Um, and then I'm not. I'm gonna run out of money. So we're gonna have to um, cut spending all over the place. So I have twelve hundred. I guess I can emergency raise the taxes. What 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 do we have? Is this and I'm going to have to loot this place. Um difficult battle to say the least. 5000 French troops. Lots of uh French cavalry. Um and lots of cannons. So that's a very nasty fight. It is my best army that is coming there. And hopefully we'll be able to push through directly afterwards. And create Bavaria. And that hopefully will keep the French off us. And that means that I can move back down. Concentrate on Rome. It seems as though an attack on Rome from... The um, south is not going to happen. Uh, the Spanish just have too many troops in the region. We're not going to be able to la uh, launch an invasion enough to defeat um, four full stacks, which they've got right now. So Spanish Naples is going to remain Spanish Naples. Um, this thorn in my eye. You know what? Uh, to save money, we're not going to be able to get these anyways. So that gained me money. So I do not... We kind of saved ourselves there for a little bit. Right. Um, next time around... It's over here. Smash through. And everything will be fine. Um, right. Let's go ahead and end it right here. That's what we're going to do. So, as I always say, hopefully, guys, you guys enjoy this. And hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.